Okay, this dress has been everywhere on the internet and for good reason. For good measure, because I feel like it brings out the best in what I love about myself. And so the first look we have today is just the dress itself. That simple. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it somehow hides all of my scrumptious back knee, which I don't really know how that makes sense. I don't need to wear a bra with this dress. And usually I don't really like bodycon dresses, but this one fits just for some miraculous reason. You can basically wear whatever you want with this dress is also what I love so much about it. I mean, it's so complex and simple at the same time. Literally just imagine me standing there backed up against a wall doing absolutely nothing. If anything, this dress is more versatile than most dresses, which brings me to my next look, which is just playing around with the straps. Now, unfortunately, because I am a big person, I can't really bring the straps around my head, but you just you can just play around with whatever you like. The third look is just adding a belt. I know we're starting off really simple, but a belt can change everything. It adds just a little pop of color to an otherwise more plain dress. So right now I'm serving some buttercup vibes, but you can use any color belt, any size belt, any type of belt. You can use string, you can use ribbon, you can use a worm, you can use your earbuds, you could use a foam wire. You can, <laughs> you can basically use anything is what I'm getting at, which is so awesome. Awesome! Everything is awesome. Okay. Um, I think that's enough. Now the next look is, hey, my shoulders aren't for you. Cause guess what? I put a shirt under this dress. That's right. Is this anything revolutionary? No, but do I look as amazing as I did in the beginning? Um, Heck yeah, I would even argue possibly even better. I even cut the weird straps like on the dress I know that you use to hang it. And then I put it in my hair. We use recycle and redo. That's not correct. That is not the saying. But listen, you make fashion what you want it to be. Even if it means you gotta cut some bra straps off and put it in your hair. Who cares, man? As long as you feel good in it, that's all that matters. But sometimes maybe that's a little bit too less. So take my tip from before, add a belt. You know, now you're serving really funky, 80s, 70s vibes in the modern era, which is kind of cool. You're like a piece of history moving through time. Ew. <laughs> which brings me to the fifth look. Wait, hold on. Is a dress a skirt? Because, okay, you just reused a dress as a different article of clothing. Just put a shirt over it or a tank top. Just put a top over it and you basically reused the whole dress as a new piece in your outfit wardrobe. You can even add a bucket hat to really hide the logo so that, you know, the logo doesn't mess up the vibe of your outfit. Add a headband. Also, I love this look because my heart earrings match the little heart on my pocket. Maybe add a frilly collar. I love frilly collars right now. I believe they are pretty much in. I'm currently going through a style slash identity crisis at the age of 19, I know. I feel honestly like a chameleon sometimes. I feel like I'm a gathering of just people around me and I feel like that's my personality type. And so with fashion, at least that's one way for me to feel like I'm just myself because for my outfits, I kind of feel like I like it or I don't. And so just play around with what you love, you know? Feel good about yourself. And I keep ranting about this, but it's because I never felt like I could wear the stuff that I wanted to in high school. Um, and now I'm in college and no one really cares. No one gives a freaking F about what you wear. So make it make sense to you. Make it make freaking sense to you, you beautiful human being. You are gonna look scrumptious regardless of what you wear, regardless. Well, now the dress is not, in fact, a skirt. 
but a shirt. It's a shirt now, y'all. It's, it's a freaking stinky, scrumptious, dilly dumptious shirt. Because I paired it with a white flowy beach skirt on the bottom, accentuating the three holes in the back and the fact that it's in this cami tank top form. I paired it with a thrifted Louis Vuitton bag, strawberry earrings with a dash of green, and sandals with white socks underneath. Is this one of my favorite outfits in this whole entire video? Yes, it is. It is stinking beautiful. This outfit really makes me want to get caught up in some kind of police car chase just so that as I come out of my car when they finally catch me, the helicopters above will put me on the news and see everyone will see the beautiful green juxtaposed to the whiteness of the concrete of the highway which brings me to my next look it's called top and bottom heavy because who doesn't like a little bit of chunky in your life you know a chunky chocolate bar a chunky cardigan hey chunky shoes with that cardigan and this is why i love this outfit so stinking much because the silhouette is really what's at play here so you got some chunky on bottom, some chunky on top, and now guess what you are? You are that beautiful candy bar that is just persuading customers to just go over there and buy it because you're freaking delicious. But even if that's not for you, I have a six and a half look in which you can just put on a thin jacket, a thin cardigan, heck, go for that crew neck that's been buried in the back of your closet for years and put it on this dress. Just blow everyone's mind away with your incredible layering skills. I mean, you look so put together with minimal effort. And that's what we love here. That is what we love here. I put on the bucket hat, hid the logo again with my pigtails in yellow rubber bands because for some reason my black ones keep running away from me with the lemon earrings and boom. There you go. That's one outfit. Took me three minutes to come up with. That pose is so ugly. The next look is OMG. You look so hot in a blazer and that's because guess what? We do. We do look hot in a blazer. This jacket was actually from my mom's closet that I accidentally, <laughs> wink wonk, stole from her closet. <laughs> I don't know where she got it, but heck, it's probably one of my favorite jackets ever. It has shoulder pads in it, which I know is a big no-no for a lot of people, but I don't usually like to wear bodycon dresses again, so if this is in the fall, I just put on this really huge, huge jacket on and I can still wear the dress when it's not necessarily in season, in quotation marks. I feel like with the Doc Martin boots, I just look really New York. By the way, I absolutely hate LA. Do not come here. I hate LA. I could literally go on a 50 minute rant on why I hate it here. Totally random, but hey, I hope this video helped you. Just take my tips, put them on each other, layer it, feel good in what you wear. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.